Uh, my work is pretty well uh, scattered all over the place in terms of uh, direction and even in placement because I do land work which means I go to quite a number of places around this planet to do the work. And so that is one area, land art, and at the same time I'm doing photography which become photo montages, large scale uh, multi-image kinds of works. Uh, drawings, I do uh, in, in fact engrave sculpture, uh, some design, do some teaching, multifaceted I could say. Uh, the most recent uh, uh, thing that's happening is that about uh, I guess it's two months back now at the end of September the Musée de, de la Chine had an, an, an inauguration of a restoration of my sculpture that I made on uh, uh, that uh, what is called La Grande Jete. It's a spit of land at the La Chine and it's a gigantic uh, piece, a mon monumental piece of sculpture, engraved stone, in granite in fact. It's a piece of roughly uh, 70 feet deep, tw uh, 30 feet wide and about 13 feet high. Uh, that is the primary piece that you can uh, go to to have some idea of the kinds of works uh, I do. You have, in this case, engraves uh, stone along with what is called uh, a land piece. It, it, it's a kind of a piece where the specta spectator is in invited and is involved by walking through the work. One of my main interests is theoretical physics and right. uh, it's quite uh, absorbing all that stuff. Popular, it's pretty well uh, popularized by Stephen Hawking, as you know, but there's also a whole bunch of other people that are involved with that. And this idea that uh, there's more than what we actually can actually encounter through our own physicality w intrigues me. I mean, th maybe this is kind of like a religious strain that we have these days, that nowadays it's not the church, but the sciences that are sort of guiding us towards this new kind of a consciousness. And all this sort of stuff somehow has some sort of a play, interaction with the kind of art that, that, that I do.